London is one of the world's most populous cities. It is well-renowned as a major cultural and financial center, as well as a highly liked tourism destination. In addition to the extensive historical and cultural connections between the two countries, many visitors will be coming to London for the first time. Given London's historical ties to the British Empire, most people in the world probably adore a wide range of products made in London. Whether it is your first or eighth trip to London, you will find that there are always new places to discover. When you return, you always find something fascinating to fall in love with. This is a place that begs you to come and see it. Every London neighborhood has a unique history and tale to share. It is recognized as one of the best cities in the world for a reason. Let's see best places to visit in London. Number 1. The Tower Bridge Tower Bridge often known as the Peter Pan Bridge, or as I prefer to call it, is another instantly recognizable landmark in London. What is usually referred to as the London Bridge is actually another bridge that spans the same river, albeit it isn't as well known as Tower Bridge. While it is free to traverse Tower Bridge on foot, tours are required to access the towers or the high-level deck. I took photos in front of this bridge, even though I didn't pay for the trip. Another activity I suggest is a supper cruise on the Thames. If your schedule won't allow a dinner cruise in the evening, I advise a daytime sightseeing tour. Tea included. Number 2. Windsor Castle Most visitors to Windsor Castle don't need any explanation of what they will see there. Currently, it is the oldest and longest-running continuously occupied castle in the entire globe. The structures and gardens are ornately ornamented, as befits a queen. Although it was initially built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror, it has subsequently undergone several updates, additions, and modifications. They have a special quality that allows them to feel both young and old at the same time. It is essential to stop by in person. Despite being outside of London, getting in and out of the city is not too tough. There are a variety of transit options and tour options. Number 3. Buckingham Palace In case you did not know, Buckingham Palace is home to the Queen of England. Even though the Queen frequently acts more as a figurehead than a permanent leader, the British royal family nevertheless serves as an important emblem of the United Kingdom. Even though this royal palace is still in use as a residence, it is also a very evident tourist attraction, because it is well known on a global scale, has beautiful grounds, provides tours much like an art gallery, and is, of course, a palace. Purchase your tickets for the Buckingham Palace admission in advance here. You can skip the lines by buying your tickets in advance, and it's great to know that they are refundable up to 24 hours in advance. Number 4. London Eye On the banks of the River Thames in the heart of London, there lies a huge Ferris wheel called the London Eye. When the London Eye was initially constructed, it was the highest Ferris wheel in the world. Due to the size of the wheel, passengers instead travel in pods that can accommodate up to 25 people rather than just sitting on the traditional bench seats. This allows for companionable conversation as the wheel turns, which may be one of the reasons it is currently London's most popular paid tourist attraction. The entire trip just takes around 30 minutes, giving you plenty of time to enjoy the breathtaking cityscapes. Even though the color of the wheel varies constantly, it stands out as a spectacular landmark from all across the city since it is illuminated at night. Here, you can buy a ticket in advance for the London Eye. The good news is that you can cancel your tickets up to 24 hours in advance. Number 5. Westminster Abbey Vast and powerful Anglican church Westminster Abbey is well known for holding many famous people's final resting places. Millions of people visit this royal church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, each year because of its fascinating history. The Abbey is a must-visit location in London because to the abundance of graves, monuments, and memorials it contains. The elaborate choir, gorgeous sanctuary where weddings are held, various royal and prominent people tombs, the tomb of the unknown soldier, and the simple coronation chair can all be explored. The Poet's Corner is home to the final resting places of several of England's greatest authors, including Chaucer, Dickens, Tennyson, Kipling, and Hardy. Number 6. Palace of Westminster Many people misunderstand what the Palace of Westminster is, or, they frequently call the entire building Big Ben. The Palace of Westminster is home to the two houses of the British Parliament. In the United Kingdom, the Palace of Westminster is home to both the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Westminster is currently a common name for the UK Parliament. 
Although the clock is usually referred to as Big Ben, the Palace of Westminster, another well-known symbol of London, gets its name from the Great Bell, not the tower or the building. This is another spot on the River Thames that is a must-see. Number 7. Hyde Park Hyde Park, located in the center of London, is one of the most beautiful royal parks in the entire world. Along with offering exciting events and performances of the highest caliber, it provides a wide range of tranquil locations to unwind and relax. Go diving in the Serpentine, visit the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain, or simply take in the view from a lakeside cafe. To satisfy your urge for adrenaline, try playing tennis or horseback riding. Hyde Park, close to Buckingham Palace, features a lovely rose garden, kid-friendly trees to climb, the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain, and a stunning lake. We found the vistas to be beautiful. Number 8. Tower of London The Tower of London, a UNESCO World Heritage Landmark, must be seen while in London. Booking the tour led by an engaging red-coated beefeater is one of the most popular things to do in London. The Tower of London is not a tower at all. It is a castle located in the center of the city, close to the River Thames. It has a history dating back more than a thousand years and has served as a zoo, prison, armory, and treasury in the past. One of my favorite features is the moat, which also has water and land gates. However, you shouldn't have too high of hopes because the moat isn't currently filled with water. This castle has probably been the target of several assaults. In addition to numerous other artifacts, it currently contains the crown jewels, making it one of London's most well-liked attractions. Number 9. St. Paul's Cathedral St. Paul's Cathedral in London, there is a huge range of art. There is a trail of artwork with religious messages all around the cathedral. The church-owned dome of the cathedral is constructed in such a way that sound carries unusually well up its 30-meter-high whispering gallery. This chapel is home to incredible artwork that is only found here and nowhere else in the world. The largest and most well-known cathedral in London, St. Paul's Cathedral, was built on a Roman temple after the ancient one was destroyed by fire. Today, the 365-foot-tall dome of St. Paul and its twin Baroque towers are regarded as the height of English design. Number 10. Trafalgar Square It is simple to recognize the famous Trafalgar Square in Europe. The name honors a British naval victory at the Battle of Trafalgar during the Napoleonic Wars over France and Spain. Several sculptures, pieces of art, fountains, and protesters are commonly seen in the square nowadays. Reading the inscriptions while merely strolling the plaza will teach you a lot about British history. It is situated in the heart of London and has three sides that link to the main pedestrian square. Excellent street performers and year-round cultural activities are also well known for taking place in this site.